welcome back to another video my name is Erica if you happen to be new here thank you so much for clicking on this video or for coming back and watching if you're a returning viewer today for me is Saturday it's January 14th so it's exactly one month until Valentine's Day so I definitely want to go ahead and get my Valentine's decor up because it's gonna be gone before we know it so that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video so if you need some decorating Valentine decorating inspiration maybe this will give it to you or if you don't decorate for Valentine's Day and maybe this will maybe make you want to do it I didn't used to do it and then I would watch videos and I don't know I always wanted to but when a couple years ago I finally said you know what I'm just gonna add a few things and now I have lots of Valentine's decor you'll see in a second I'm gonna lay it all out and show you what I have and in a couple videos back I showed you some things I picked up and so I'm probably going to get rid of a few things, pass those on to someone else, and then, you know, change it up a little bit. Also, my washer and dryer are going because it's Saturday afternoon and that's what I got to do on the weekend. So, <laughs> it is real life over here. Also, I posted today my... Let me, let me take you in the other room. It might be a little too loud. Today on my channel, I posted my complete home tour. My first ever, like, full home tour since I've had my channel. It's been over five years. So, it's been five and a half next month so uh the first time i've ever done that and so i hope that you saw it if you didn't it's i'll link it above but it was just something i've been wanting to do so i hope that you enjoyed it i've been getting so many comments i'm trying to keep up <laughs> new and old viewers but and there's lots of suggestions lots of questions i'm trying to get back to all of them i know it's going to be a process but thank you so much to all of you that have watched it and have commented and for all the love and support we do have an 1100 square foot house and we love it it's home it's been home for 18 years we have no plans to move but you know only god knows the future so uh yeah so let me pull out all my valentine decor and show you what i have i don't even remember what i have so this is gonna be a surprise to me too i've spent the morning like cleaning up i got everything i didn't i'm not filming that i like clean and decorate but i just have been spending the morning cleaning my house getting it ready so that i can put everything out i will be vlogging all weekend i know i'll just give you a rundown this today it's already almost three o'clock on saturday afternoon so i'm gonna decorate that always takes a little while and kind of exhausts me just i don't want it to be that way today though i really don't i want to just put it out and just leave it like i don't want to spend all day doing this so anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and get all that done and then i think this evening my sister and my niece are gonna come over they're still in town they live in the bahamas if you know you know but um i think we're gonna get some popcorn and watch a movie or something and then i am gonna make i'm gonna try hopefully i don't know i have like leftovers that we kind of need to eat and so i was gonna make breakfast for dinner and make my bagel sandwiches to freeze because i really have been wanting those every morning but i've not gotten around to making them so i want to do a little food prep if i get to it and i'm also going to make a dessert for tonight for when they come over and then tomorrow is sunday and i know we're going to go to church and then i'm not really sure if we're going to go out we might go play pool again or we might not i have you know laundry i have to get a few groceries for the week just kind of like get everything ready for the week to come so this is my bin of valentine stuff that thing is full but these are all the new the new things that i've picked up this year so i honestly don't remember what i got what i have i know i got a lot of stuff at dollar tree and also hobby lobby and they were all on sale or just really inexpensive Okay, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am in trouble. Honestly, this is too funny because like this, I almost bought another one. Like I didn't even know I had it. Got it. I must have got this at or maybe I had forgotten that a subscriber sent me a Valentine package last year after Valentine's or right before Valentine's was like decor went down. So I didn't use it and I put it away. I know like this was in there, some of these velvet picks, those big hearts over there I completely forgot that I had put all this stuff up maybe she sent me this I don't even remember and also this big red heart I don't remember I know she sent me these and I had totally forgotten I almost picked some up at Dollar Tree that were kind of like that and some ribbon 
fun stuff. What is this? Table scatter. I think she sent me this. And also this. Oh my word, this is so fun. I have so much stuff. I'm going to decorate my hutch and then my plan. That's my plan. Decorate my hutch and then also these shelves over here. And then also I want to put some stuff in my kitchen. I always love to put Valentine decor in the kitchen. I have these little stickers from Hobby Lobby and they just you just peel off the back. They were 40% off of $2, so very inexpensive and I'm just going to put them on a few things. I think they're easy. They're, they're not too super sticky. I can peel them off after Valentine's, but I thought they would be adorable just to dress up a few pieces. This is the cutest little envelope from Hobby Lobby. So this is a cute little house I got from Walmart this year and you can put a tea light in it but I just put a few little heart picks in the top and then I thought about putting another sticker right there just kind of make it look like 3D. I wish I had picked up more of these stickers because they look so cute on like the edge of a picture frame. Maybe I'll put it there. I don't know. There or there? Hmm. Maybe right here, we'll see. That's cute. And I can just take it off after Valentine's Day. So I picked up this last year at Walmart in the Valentine's section. I think it was $3. Um, it's kind of small, but it fits. So I can't find anything to put it over, but it fits over a picture frame. So that's perfect. And then I just have some little heart picks. I love to use these to put in plants because it really just super simple, super inexpensive way to make it look festive. So let me move you up. This is a box that Marion built me out of a very old palette years and years ago. And I just have some greenery up here. I like to keep greenery out year round. <coughs> so I'm um, just gonna put some of these in here. Scatter them around. I don't have any like foam in here, so it'd be easier if I did. Sometimes less is more, I think that looks good. Then I got this heart banner at Hobby Lobby. It was $11.99, 40% off. I think I need to cut the thing off, yeah. And when I bought it, I was thinking of putting it up here. It's really good quality. These are like heavy wooden hearts. So I'm just gonna put it along here and I'm just gonna use tacks. It's just wood, so. so I got this $5 plush printed plush throw. It has little red trucks. Got it at Dollar Tree. I haven't opened it up yet, but this is super soft. And then I have this pillow that I've had forever. I got it Goodwill for like $2. I've had it for years. And then I actually was at Goodwill the other day and I found this throw and I was so excited. Look at the little balls on the end. It is the cutest and it is so, so, so soft. My animals are obsessed with it. And it was $3.29. So I snagged this up. I'm going to wash it, but this is going to be one of my cozy winter throws. So I'm going to throw this over the couch once it's washed, but um, it's sitting over there on the bench and the animals are obsessed with it. I just want to give it a good wash before I throw it on the couch. How cute is that? <laughs> How cute.
table, I've just had this little basket here with some greenery, and I thought I would just change it out for this. I got this at Walmart, 388 last year. They may have it this year too, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna switch that out for Valentine's and put a couple of these picks. I got these also at Walmart last year. I've ever done a decorate with me I mean I guess because it's not a lot of stuff that was I was thinking I don't want this to take all day my back is gonna hurt if I spend hours in here and got it done I do have a few things that I'm gonna put on my in the front yard I'm gonna put this bow I just made it with that ribbon that I had 
it's not the greatest bow but i'm gonna put that and then this heart on my wreath that's on my front door and then i'm gonna put my garden flag that i got at hobby lobby outside i have a wintry one now i'm just gonna put this one out until valentine's is over and i'm actually gonna bring my wreath in and work on it because it is blustery and so cold outside so that way i don't have to stand here and struggle with it but this is just an everyday wreath green wreath and i'm gonna dress it up for valentine's decorated I'm gonna it's time to feed the fur babies then I'm gonna get some laundry out switch the laundry over and then it's almost five o'clock so I need to start working on dinner I'm so not hungry I ate lunch at like 1 30 but I want to at least get these bagel sandwiches made so I can freeze them and you know not have to worry about it and then in a little while I'll be able to sit down and relax but right now all these animals are telling me it's time for dinner I was waiting for the cats to finish eating so I could go in there and fold laundry, but I went ahead and put some bacon on the stove and then I'm gonna cook the turkey bacon in the oven. I'm going to make some eggs and then these are the bagels and I'm just gonna do bacon, egg and cheese bagels and freeze them, but then the bacon and eggs and I'll probably make like some pancakes or we have frozen pancakes and waffles. Probably just do that for Marion and Jackson with some bacon and eggs and stuff, but they finished eating now, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this cat mess up so I can fold a load of laundry.
So I got six of these to freeze. I might have one later. I don't know. I'm so not hungry. It's not even six o'clock yet. I don't know. I'm just so full from lunch. But I have lots of bacon and eggs and some frozen pancakes and waffles. Marion and Jackson went out. They've been gone for a little while. Probably like two hours maybe. Hour and a half, two hours. So when they get home, dinner will be ready. And my sister should be coming over. Uh oh I think she's going to be coming over in like an hour. Okay, so while I'm waiting for Marion and Jackson to get home, I thought I would make a fun dessert. My sister just uh, texted me. And they're not actually, actually not going to come for a couple hours. They're going to go to a basketball game first. So... I was trying to think of a fun dessert. I was going to make an apple crisp, but I don't have any like Cool Whip or ice cream to go on top. So I just had this recipe I had pinned on my Pinterest board and I can link it down below. But I mean, it's, I really don't need to link it down below. I'll just tell you how it is. Super easy. <laughs> you just need croissant, crescent rolls, whatever. These are the flaky and buttery because why not? And then you take Nutella and you spread it on it and then you put a few chocolate chips. And then you roll it up, pop it in your air fryer for eight minutes. Oh, and you do an egg wash over the top. Put it in your air fryer for eight minutes. She says you have to do eight minutes because that way that ensures that the whole thing is cooked through. And then you can sprinkle powdered sugar. You can drizzle honey on top. You can drizzle chocolate. I might just sprinkle some powdered sugar. I don't know. Probably don't need to put anything on top. But I'm going to make those because that's fun. And I have two packs of these. So if they're a hit, I can make two if I need to. But And I just have the Walmart, the Great Value hazelnut spread so I think my air fryer probably will fit three at a time so I'm definitely gonna have to do them in batches because I don't have a big one Okay, it does say spray the bottom of the air fryer basket. I did not, but I do have parchment paper, so hopefully I'm okay. And it says to cook it at 360 for eight minutes. Okay, it's been eight minutes. I just checked them and they are pretty dark. It says you have to do them pretty dark so that they're fully cooked. So I'm gonna take them out, put the second batch in, and then when they're cool, I will try them out. seven on the plate that's because I ate one <laughs> these are phenomenal they're so good I took out another pack of crescent rolls and I'm making a second batch because why not I have more egg wash and I didn't want to waste an egg because they're too expensive so um, my sister though my sister my niece and my nephew I don't have chocolate on my mouth I think my nephew are coming over later so it'll be the perfect movie watching snack oh my gosh those are so good I'm not like one of those people that loves Nutella like I don't hardly ever buy it or eat it, but that combined with the chocolate chips, oh my word, and then the flaky croissant, so good, so good, highly recommend that, super easy, super not healthy, but so good. <laughs>
so it is Sunday now. I showed you uh, earlier. We were going into church, and we went out and had a nice lunch. And then I need to grab a few things at Walmart, so I'm going to do a really small grocery haul. Basically, this is like a Jackson grocery haul. Almost everything I got was what I needed for Jackson for his lunches. He's a creature of habit, and he likes the same thing in his lunch every day. So I put a sandwich, chips. It's the same kind of sandwich, same kind of chips. And then I'll try to put a fruit and a snack. So... Yeah, that's just what he likes, and I've asked him, and a Gatorade, gotta have Gatorade. I ask him all the time, do you want me to change it up? No, nope, he likes it the same. So I got his Gatorade, he likes the red, fruit punch, Gatorade. Marion tried these bubbly drinks last time. Um, he really likes them, I don't get it, but he really likes them. So I got him another one of those. I got some zero sugar Cool Whip, because I have a an, an apple crisp I wanna make, use my apples, and I just needed some of this, because it's so much better. This is like, when you, you use it frozen, it's like um, ice cream on top. So good. Um, I got some more of these Pringles wavy. We got the, if you saw my couple videos back, my last grocery haul, we bought the barbecue Doritos. He just wasn't really a fan of those, but Marion likes them, so they will not go to waste. And then this is what we are all actually loving. It's so good. I bought some Aldi sourdough bread the other day, and these with lettuce and tomato and mustard mayonnaise. So good. Love this. Jackson needed some more shampoo, and this is what he's been using. He likes that. Um, we needed some more pepperoni and these mini pizza crusts because these are just a quick snack or meal for Jackson sometimes. We just make little homemade pizzas. He also wanted requested ciabatta rolls. He likes uh, turkey or chicken and bacon on these for his lunches. That's his favorite, but I don't always buy them because they're expensive, but haven't bought them in a while. And then we've seen this for a long time and I just wanted to try it. So we just got those. I'll fill up some of my cereal bins. Jackson will eat those. And then I, these are the dog treats I get gotten for years and years, but I haven't been able to find them at all for so long. So I've been buying like the canine cats, I think, that are way inexpensive, but I've been getting messages, so many messages telling me that that stuff is dangerous for dogs and over time it can poison them or that it has antifreeze in it. Um, so I am gonna throw them out because I don't wanna take a chance with my babies. I got a message or two and then I just keep getting them. So if you've messaged me about it, thank you. Um, we're gonna go back to these. I'm gonna throw out the ones that I have. I'll show you what they look like. These are the ones that I was giving them, but I'm just going to throw them out because while they love them, I definitely don't want to take a chance on poisoning my dogs. So I'm glad that I finally found my Alpo and I got a big bag of them. So this should last us a long time. And they know that I'm talking about dog treats, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Y'all are smart. Do you need to go outside, Bell Bell? You want to go outside? Come on. Come on, sweet girl. Come on, Claire. She's funny now when I give the dogs their treats, she expects a cat treat now. So, does everybody want a treat? I gotta throw these out. Clyde doesn't usually like him. Well, it is dinner time now. It is way later. It seemed like I seemed like we just got up and went to church, and now I'm closing the blinds, and there is something on my screen. Uh, but I think my sister's going to come back over. She's still visiting. A few more nights with her here, so I think she's going to come back over. She's been coming over the last couple nights, and we've been watching different things on TV, and you know, just visiting, and it's been nice. So, you know, it's just so cold once the sun sets, especially. It's just so cold, so it's just nice to be, you know home where it's warm <laughs> but um 
He thinks I'm talking to him. You don't know why I'm talking. He's been so attached to me lately. So I wanted to say I, I'm trying a new schedule. You know, I said I wanted to not put so much pressure on myself to get like videos out at cert on certain days at certain times. And I'm still doing that. I just have had a few people comment like, how do I know when you're going to upload? Or that they really miss, you know, me uploading in the mornings or knowing when I was going to upload. So, you know, there's obviously the bell. If you click next to the subscribe button, there's a bell. You can click the bell and it will notify you as soon as I do upload. Whatever day or time that is, it will just notify you so that you'll know. But you can also, if you're like, if you miss, the, if you miss me posting at 7 a.m., which I always did. Um, and now I just kind of, po I'm trying different times because they show you when you have a youtube channel they show you when your viewers are most on youtube and most uh, probably everyone's most of their viewers are on in the evening and so when i post early in the morning um you know not as many people see it and it gets pushed down your subscription feed when you have a lot of subscriptions and so it might not get seen as much so i'm trying out just different times been trying around noon and my videos have been doing a whole lot better so i'm just kind of playing around with that so sometimes I just get it as soon as I get it finished I just upload it I don't, instead of scheduling it for another day or whatever but I'm still playing around with that but if you don't like watching them you know at noon or in the evening or whatever you could always put it in your watch later playlist and if you didn't know that to do that just click on it and click in the top right hand corner there's like a little clock you can click on that and it'll show you you can add it to a watch later list and then you know, you can save up as many as you want and watch them whatever time works for you. So I do that. I have my own watch later list when I see my favorite YouTubers have posted. I don't have time to watch. I just stick them all in that folder. I check it every day and stick them in there. And then when I have time, I go back and watch them. And then after you watch them, you can take them out of the folder. It's super simple, but it is, makes it so much more convenient if you can't watch it when the video is posted. So hope that makes sense. If anybody out there didn't know that, you can do that. And it's so nice because then you watch it on your own time. So, but I'm still working, you know, figuring it out. And I, it's funny, I have been posting Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday still just because <laughs> that's what I'm used to schedule. I mean, that's what I'm used to posting. And so it's just worked so far. But, you know, it'll always change. So I appreciate you so much staying with me through all of this and figuring it out. And I just needed to have a little more freedom and a little more, a uh, little less schedule I don't know just trying something new so I'm gonna go ahead and say good night because there's not much more to film tonight it's just a Sunday night easy Sunday night Jackson's out of school tomorrow it's Martin Luther King Day I don't know if we're gonna do anything I don't know if we have any plans tomorrow I guess we'll see I actually didn't know he was out Monday I thought they actually had to go to school and he told me yesterday no we're actually off I was like oh my gosh so I pulled up the calendar and he's right so oh that's so nice <laughs> anyway we're gonna uh I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow I don't know, but it's going to be a busy week. So I'll be vlogging, but thank you again. And make sure to subscribe if you're not already and you want to be. And hit that notification if you want to know what I'm going to upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.